Hi, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and we are continuing on with AP Physics 1 today. This is question 4 from the 2016 exam. Let's look at A circuit contains a battery and four identical resistors arranged as shown in the diagram above. Rank the magnitude of the potential difference across each resistor from greatest to least. If any resistors have potential differences with the same magnitude, state that explicitly and briefly explain your re reasoning. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, a, so the way you want to think of it is there's going to be a current flowing of I here, I here. Now it's going to, I can, has to split between these two paths, right? I is like kind of, think of current as like water flowing. It's got to split between these two paths. So some's going to go this way, some's going to go that way. Now it's going to split in half because the two resistances are parallel and it's like equally likely that they'll go between the two. They'll recombine and form I here. So um, the the drop across any any of these resistances I times R. So A and D both have a full I going through them, so they're I times R. B and C have half the voltage drop because they have the same R but half the current flowing through them. So it's really A is equal to D, which is greater than B is equal to C. A and D have I going through them. But B and C have one half I going through them. And V equals IR. That's all I'm going to explain. I should write it out a lot better. I could write a whole paragraph. But the solutions guys will give you a good explanation of how you want to explain it. But intuitively, what's happening is what I just outlined. Um, a and D have the full amount of current. Whatever I don't know what this current is, but whatever it is, A and D have the same amount going through it, and B and C have half that amount. Resistor B is now removed from the circuit, and there's no connection between the wires attached to it. The new circuit diagram is shown below. When resistor B is removed, does the current through resistor A increase, decrease, or remain the same? Well, the total resistance is now increased because this parallel path reduce this resistance like this what this this these two together would have been r over two but if i remove it it's just r so the total resistance is increased hence the total current i equals v over r if r has gone up then i goes down so decrease total resistance increases and you can do this you can do this analytically if you want the total resistance here is 3r the total resistance here is r plus r over 2 plus r which is um, 2 and 1 half r or 5 halves r which is smaller so their total resistance increases when resistor b is removed does the current through resistor c increase decrease or remain the same okay so um This one's tricky. Like, um, so now that I solved the resistance, the current through C in the second case is I is equal to V over three R. In the first case, the current would have been one, like the total current would have been V over five halves R. But C only got one half of that, so it would have been like that, which would have been uh, the these two cancels that V over five R. So you see, this is the before and this is the after, and it would increase. It would increase because um, the 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 total current went down, but C is now taking all the current. B took. So it goes from V over 5R to V over 3R. And oh, that was it. That was it. That's it on the question. Okay, let's take a look at the scoring guidelines. <clears throat> A equals D greater than B equals C. And I explained that that one's pretty easy. 
um, decrease for indicating the effective resistance circuit increases for correct to why the current through A decreases based on changes in, okay, so. C, correct or answer increase. For indicating all the current the battery passes through C, the current no longer splits. For making either a current argument or a potential difference argument for an increase. Um, argument for why an increase in current through C more than compensates for the decrease. So yeah, I kind of just said that. I mean, I know like I wasn't analytic. I was a little more analytical about it, but yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you guys found that helpful. Thanks for watching. Um, please leave a comment, like, or subscribe, and I will see you in the, the last AP Physics question. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I just want to let you know that I offer free homework help on Twitch or Discord. So uh, just stop on by if you have any homework questions or you just want to learn about different parts of math and physics and hang out. Hope to see you there.